Sinovac COVID-19 vaccine, what are the side effects? This snapshot article describes the safety and side effects of Coronavac, a COVID-19 vaccine that the World Health Organization, WHO, has validated to protect against the SARS-CoV-2 virus. All facts and statistics are based on information that was publicly accessible at the time of publishing. Some of the material on this page may be out of current. For the most up-to-date information on the COVID-19 pandemic, visit our coronavirus portal and follow our live updates page. Coronavac is a COVID-19 vaccine manufactured by Sinovac Biotech, a Chinese pharmaceutical firm located in Beijing. The firm specializes in the research and production of vaccines for human infectious illnesses. This two-dose vaccination is suggested for those above the age of 18. According to data from a Brazilian experiment, it had a 50.4% efficacy rate for avoiding symptomatic infection and a 67% efficacy rate in a real-world research in Chile. On June 1, the WHO Trusted Source Certified Sinovac's Vaccine for Emergency Use Listing AUL. Coronavac's AUL method includes an evaluation of the vaccine's safety and efficacy, as well as on-site inspections of the manufacturing plant. As part of WHO's AUL validation, the vaccine was also assessed by the Strategic Advisory Group of Experts on Immunization, SAGE, WHO's main vaccine advisory board. The vaccine has been licensed for use in 26 countries as of June 9. Coronavac is a vaccination that has been inactivated. It employs a dead form of the SARS-CoV-2 virus to prevent replication, but it leaves the surface spike protein intact to stimulate the body's immune system to produce antibodies to defend against the live virus if it invades. Side effects that are common Some of the adverse effects observed by study participants are revealed in Phase 1 and 2 clinical trial data for the vaccine, which will be published in the Lancet Trusted Source in February 2021. The most prevalent adverse effect observed within 28 days of the second dosage, according to the data, was injection site discomfort 13-21%, depending on the dosing schedule. Other COVID-19 vaccines, including Sinopharm's two inactivated COVID-19 vaccines, are prone to injection site responses. Fatigue, diarrhea, and muscular discomfort were among the other adverse effects. The majority of these adverse effects were minor and only lasted two days. The article also mentions that individuals who got Coronavac experienced less fever than those who received alternative COVID-19 vaccinations, such as Moderna's mRNA-based vaccine and Oxford AstraZeneca and CanSino's viral vector vaccines. Who is eligible to receive the vaccine? The Coronavac vaccine, like other COVID-19 vaccines authorized by WHO Trusted Source, is recommended for persons with comorbidities, those who are immunocompromised, or those who have already had COVID-19. Coronavac is also recommended by the WHO for persons living with HIV. While the trials reviewed by SAGE did not include this specific population, it states that Coronavac is a non-replicating vaccine that can be recommended. The WHO further adds that, while this vaccine has not been adequately studied in pregnant individuals, its resemblance to other vaccinations proven safe, such as those for hepatitis B, implies that there should be no worries about using the vaccine during pregnancy. Until enough studies on the safety of Coronavac in pregnant women are conducted, the WHO advises its use where the benefits of immunization outweigh the possible hazards. Individuals having a history of anaphylaxis to any of the vaccine's components, like with previous approved COVID-19 vaccines, should not get the vaccination. The next stages in the Coronavac trials of According to a Global Times report, a booster shot of Coronavac after the initial two doses of the vaccine may enhance antibody levels, with a tenfold increase in activity a week following the shot. Sinovac intends to conduct additional clinical trials to assess the efficacy and timing of the booster dose, as well as the vaccine's efficacy against new SARS-CoV-2 strains. Data from the vaccine's Phase 3 clinical trials will most likely give more information into the vaccine's effectiveness and safety profile. 